let's see how do you implement it actually now whenever you are back testing you have access to historical data so you try to do it in a certain manner and you have just one uh, let's say data frame where you have everything all at once but when it comes to actually trading it is a different matter so it is the same uh, it is the same strategy we are using the same asset but there will be certain things which are different over here for example we have also used sk learn over here and by the way this is the blue shift uh, terminal and what we do is that we have various uh, conditions we have various uh, lines of code which we use so here i will just try to go through it very fast and we'll see how it is so we are using context.security to actually uh, uh, define an asset so over here it is acc so we are using the symbol acc over here and we are using a look back period of 200 now if you are using daily data that will be 200 days back now for the train test split it's the same but the name has been changed context.split underscore percentage which is pointy we are using the same thing we have x train x test y train y test and the retrain flag now this flag is done to retrain the model every uh, number of periods over here we have scheduled the retrain model function every month so that it retrains every month and gives you the updated values so that is there and this is used to uh, check whether we should retrain or not and we are using context.clf we used clf over there previously to actually store the model as you can see over here we use the decision tree classifier and we store it in clf this is the same thing context.clf now we have the schedule function which calls the retrain model and it since we are doing it every month we have done the date rule so there are two uh, parameters which we use the date and the time rule the date will actually tell you when it is uh, initialized and time gives you the time on that date when it should be initialized so date rules it is month start so it will it will start every month and when it opens this will be called further we have the rebalance function which will be called and we have the retrain model so in this way we have converted a certain model which we use for back testing to the live trading or paper trading environment now this is the same we have used df and we have taken the ohl cv values and we have used the look back of how much period we want since we had used 200 so it means that it will take the historical values of the past 200 days so here one day means that it is daily value and then this is the same we have used adx rsi sme we have used the return as the dependent variable and we have the signal or the target which gives you the condition whether to go long or not and we store all this in the predictors list and we have x which shows everything now further as you can see it is the same we are storing the target variable in y we have split the data into train and test data set and this is similar to what we had done where we have initialized the classification tree 
model and we are checking the accuracy as well further we try to predict the signal and here is an interesting fact we are saying that if the accuracy test over here which was defined if it is more than 0.5 only then we'll move further and we'll actually place orders so if it is more than 0.5 we actually go and check the y underscore print and if it was one which means going long we actually go long on the asset otherwise we we uh, exit that order or do not do anything or else we have no position over here so in this way we have converted uh, the model the machine learning model to a model which can be used for live trading as well now what we have done is i have gone ahead and i ran the uh, machine learning model and it gives me a return of 5% the alpha is minus 0.03 and beta is 0.4 obviously Uh, there's a drawdown of minus ten. It is positive. We got five percent returns, but as you can see, the benchmark, which is the Sensex, uh, the NEC. Sorry, uh, you can see that the NEC was way up, and the portfolio, or rather, our machine learning model, did not beat it, which means that there's still room to improve this. But then, this is just to show you how. a model which you had just back tested can be used for a trading environment now obviously you will think that hey like this is the same you just changed a few uh, names over here and you just did back testing so you are right in that sense you have done only back testing so what i did further was that i used it on us i trial try on us equities let's see what happens if i do it on tesla and if i run this we can see what the back test is and then you can actually move forward to going live but obviously you never go live you would rather paper trade for that matter so this is usually how you move and you first create a trading strategy you back test it to see how well it is doing then you actually go forward now if you have your own uh, broker which provides the trading api it is well and good otherwise you can use a platform like blue shift for that matter and uh you can code the same uh, even blue shift uses python for that matter but since it is an event driven platform you are not exactly using uh, a proper back test for that matter there will be certain changes in your code which are simple enough and we have the documentation in case you are uh, willing to go through it and you will create this own trading strategy now you saw that for the us equities we did the same thing this is by the way the same code i have just changed tesla and now what i want to do is let's say i want to go live for that matter so there is a button go live i know that it did not beat the benchmark but this is just to show you how you actually move forward so you go live so what blue shift does it just che uh, checks whether this code can be run directly and if it is any changes are needed or not so you can see that there are no changes needed you just execute so you can see over here configure settings uh, let's just say i am good with it i continue i then it asks which broker do you want so when you select it you can have a different bro broker for live trading you have alpaca fxcm master trust for paper trading you have fxcm alpaca 
you have bid bns for crypto as well now what i am doing is i am going to show paper trade but it is a similar thing when it comes to live trading as well so i have gone and i have just created a paper trading account on alpaca and you just select that broker i can simply put 10000 over here and i continue it asks whether you want auto execution which is true algorithmic trading uh, wherein if the signal is going long it actually places the order or you can have certain control over it and you can have one click where user confirmation is required you can have either of them let's just keep it on auto execution i have to continue now these are the terms and conditions which everyone gives you and in summary what it is saying that it is your own trading strategy and whatever profit or loss is made uh, it is basically on you uh, quantinsty is not exactly a securities broker it is just a platform to connect you to the broker and we do not endorse any broker and it is the same thing how it is executing you can take some time and go through it because after all it will be your hard earned money and so let's say i want to accept i will just accept and i will just review whatever the parameters were i have kept the drawdown limit of 50 and order limit is at 500 and the size limit is 100000 so yeah these are the parameters you can obviously change it and you just have to confirm this